Ah, uh, yes. Hotel coffee. Not too bad. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, still in the hotel. Well, obviously, slept here. Cars and Copters is just across the street, so I could technically take the car there right now, but it's still a little dark. And, eh, you know, since I'm just right across the street, just go take it whenever I want. Yeah, you can see the beach just right here. There it is, really close. Yeah, so pretty much I just got to go bring my car from down in there over here they're gonna start setting up waiting for valet and we have a r8 here and a rivian it looks like a amg g wagon lifted oh moly look at that <laughs> it's crazy jorge hernandez jr okay i wonder if this belongs to him all of them all right we got to do valet here actually the first time i did valet for my car I usually don't <laughs> trust anyone but i had no choice here there she is actually it looks pretty clean the rain did did a good job oh, actually no never mind it's dirty it's really dirty it, literally the hotel's right there i just got out and like i make a right here and bam there we go that should be the entrance right there all right time to set up we are we are here early unlike last time i was here all these without a huge crowd next to them. Really wild. Ooh, you can tell these have been here since yesterday. All right, parked right next to the porta potty, and we get to see some unloading here. And then there's some already. I think these have been here since last night. And of course, there are helicopters as well. So. We'll get a look at what's here first because we're going to beat the crowd or we've already beaten them and we're going to see in detail some of these cars. Also, the car is filthy, but man, there's like nothing I can do really. They probably know there's going to be cars that are coming in dirty. We got this beautiful SF90. It's got the electronic plate. If you guys haven't heard, uh, they've made it legal for everyone to be able to get a electronic plate here in California. Although we've seen our friend uh, Nick, he's had one on his or her con for a long time. But yeah, back to the SF90 Stradali. Look at the interior. Very nice. When you look at the front. What a beauty. And yeah, look at that. Look at that Volkswagen, the people's car. A beautiful McLaren. Spider. 765 long tail. Look at the look at the seats. Look at that headrest. I haven't seen seats like this in person. I think I've seen them online the interwebs the spec on this is beautiful got this white carbon fiber that panda look you know that's that's my style for sure is cars and copters so some helicopters here on this side we have some more on that side and we were lucky enough last year we found a helicopter with technically a montana plate or montana registration another mclaren we got can't hide that Lamborghini Huracan orange. This one is a little paddle shifty, no uh, gated manual in this one. Look at the front, yeah, she's nice. We got the people's car, the Volkswagen coming in. Really nice. Oh yeah, this one looks like it has a little bit more room than the other choppers we saw. Oh, right here, it got a small little opening in case you go to a McDonald's drive-thru. And another one here. All right, got SVJ, Aventador, McLaren, another SV. This one's a not a SVJ, SV, Aventador, and then a Huracan. Big old BMW, beautiful Mach 1. And we got the Maybach, got a couple of them. Here are some nice, luxurious ones. You look at the back, OB1. I hear something coming up in the background. Yes, and a McLaren. sounds good we got the back of the sv aventador give you a look at the svj aventador beautiful wheels on this one like that another aventador black one right there oh and the aventador is also an svj got was this f8 Ooh, look at the wheels on this. That is classy. I like that. Yeah, look at the shape. Pretty much like an like a typical Aston Martin back, but on an SUV. 
Yeah. Got a BMW E46 M3. Wow, looking nice right next to the beach. Ooh, beautiful spec. You got the scoop in the back as well. 765 long tail. Again, another Volkswagen, a people's car. This one's a little more rare. You got the windows up top. A better look at the Gallardo that came in. And what do you know? Our first Montana plates. All the best businesses are in Montana. Ooh, beautiful. Take yourself for a walk. <laughs> yeah. Mobile car wash. I wonder if I should get them to wash my car. But there is an Audi R8 with a lot of carbon fiber. And Huracan as well, a Spider. It's got the forged carbon fiber on there. The beautiful roof scoop. There's a lot of carbon fiber, blue carbon fiber. Much like a Pagani. And got the carbon fiber wing on there. Which I think is a really nice look. And, oh, 1016. Florida plate. Yeah, very nice. The helicopter here has this nice wrap on it on the side here, like holographic. Helicopter down here in the distance, and there's some more cars over there, but I see a lot of the Volkswagens over there. So we'll check them out later. And we also have a Marcialago. This beautiful orange. This has got to be the same orange as Michael's Gallardo. Oh yeah, it's a gated manual transmission. And oh, doors up. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. Coming all the way from Canada. It's like the plates say. Doors up. Very nice. Oh, I spot a Valentino Rossi hat in there. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Got a couple of Huracans coming in. And then we have a spider. Ooh, Batmobile look to it. Okay, we got another Huracan, beautiful red. Yeah, over here we have the new BMW. These are actually grown on me a lot. It's the M3. Oh no, the mirror's busted on this. Oh, that's sad. I think it says War. Pretty sure there's no company called War. There's a Bigfoot next to it too. <laughs> a little Bigfoot. That's super cool. Yeah, six-wheeler. Yeah. That is funny. Yeah, over here we got a couple more cars. Audi R8. With beautiful uh, red interior. It's aftermarket, of course, but the gold wheels on there. So it's really nice. And then next to that, there's this beautiful Huracan with the white wheels. We'll go around and get a better look at the light. Damn, that's nice. Very pretty. Look at this. We found the people's car, the Volkswagens. The lighting is bad on this angle, so I'll go around and show you guys. Uh, here we are. Another rare one. This one passed me with a smile. I like that. Got another one here. Slow is all I know. That's me. Look at this. Oh, yeah. This is cool. Really gives off uh, Bay Area vibes. Look at this. Look, we got the Beatles from Liverpool. And then we got Grimace. Look at the front of all the Volkswagen. Oh man, this is nice. I really like this color combo a lot. That one there. And then we have a few more down here. So yeah, the Volkswagen is coming really deep. There we are, yeah. Oh, this one's nice and low. Very nice. We got a few more here. And then, oh, okay. We got to check out a couple things uh, back over here. So like this color here, got the Panda colors. Got a nice little Doggo. But look at that, the way the doors open, almost like uh, suicide doors. There's we got the truck, we got the Porsche wheels on there. This is very nice. We got the, the back seats, got cup holders. Man, I like the helicopter. It still has its nighttime wear there, still sleeping. We got BMW i8. Oh, the last helicopter out here, yet again, a, another helicopter. And look at this. This looks a lot like Marino's setup with the tires in the back, looking like a couple testes. Oh, kind of like the same concept too. We've got the wide body, got the, um, the middle, the cockpit area is still, you know, like a standard size. Look at this suspension. It's insane. A Marino taught me that if you see these on the wheels, that means serious business. Oh, wow. Okay. That is very cool. A Porsche Turbo S has pulled up and look at the wheels and the calipers. Man, that is nice. I'm not going to stick my camera in there because last time I did that, I made the alarm just completely go off. Center is not painted on the calipers, but the rest is. 
and we'll give you a look at the interior from a distance. Yeah. We got a couple of McLarens right there. And right behind that. STO, I think we might have seen this here last year. And I think at the time that I saw it, we hadn't seen many STOs in the Bay Area. In case you have not seen one before, got the scoop. Goes all the way to the back. And then you see STO right there. This is really cool. We got an infinity. No, I'm, I'm kidding. This is no, that's no, it's not cool. This is cool. Look at this. <laughs> oh man, it's so cool. Jeez. Oh wow. That is cool. Got room for one more in there? <laughs> she didn't think that was funny. Another 992 911 Turbo S. And a beautiful Ferrari Pista. The 458, probably? And here we go. Nothing says America more than a big old Hummer in the green. The flag. Very nice and rare. Acura NSX. Beautiful white wheels on that. A couple more McLarens coming in. Very nice spec on this one. Seven sixty-five long tail. Ooh, there we go. Very nice noise coming out of that. Those doors at the front. Give you a comparison of the two. See this 992 GT3 here earlier. I wanted to point out the HRE wheels on there. That oh, looks new. I haven't seen those HRE wheels before. Look, we have a Rivian SUV. So Rivian actually has a service center right by my work up in the Bay Area. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to see one out here in Southern California actually driving. I think only once I've seen one driving around and the other time it's just a bunch of them sitting at their service center in, in South San Francisco. Uh, I don't know if you remember this Volkswagen from last year. Yeah, look at that. It's not your eyes messing with you. The wheels are really that close to each other. Beautiful purple wrapped Huracan Performante. Our McLaren MP something rather. Hey, well, I'm not a betting man, but I'm only gonna put down some money and say this is a Ferrari under here. And checking in, we got one of the aerials, super fast car. But out here in kind of like the regular parking, I'm gonna show you guys this Audi R8. It's got the Gold Rush Rally stickers on it. Also over here on the distant is a 996. It is. Here we got a nice Huracan. Ooh. Got the Sheepy Race sticker on it, so you know there's something special in there. A closer look at the purple Huracan that we saw coming in because the detail on this is very nice. The Performante carbon fiber insert splitter looking really nice. But coming through. We got some sort of Chevy being trailed in. It is an Impala. I'm gonna guess 1962. Okay, we'll go check out the Impala. Man, this thing is very clean. Very nice. And oh, I look, actually didn't realize how nice the color is on here. It's beautiful. Very nice. What, uh, what year is this? 61. Great, thank you. GTR. They got that Huracan with the oh my god! Look at that bumper. Oh, lack of bumper. Uh, the back diffuser. They got the Gallardo. They got a McLaren 720S. <laughs> Just cutting everyone. And then they got the Jeep Sahara. Yeah, beautiful wheels on that 720S. Josh Laurent. Huracan and then woo, look at that Lamborghini there. He's amazing. He's just scooting right in. Oh wow, look at that. Nice. Centenario. Oh my god. I was I was trying to say it all wrong. The bag. Got the Ferrari. Oh yeah, this thing's really nice. Look at that. This thing's crazy. 
quad exhaust coming out the back that way. All right, I think it's safe for me to walk by, so. Oh, look at all that carbon fiber. Pretty much everything on there is carbon fiber. And then we got the Jeep Sahara. We got the little squeaky squeaky up there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then look at this thing. I mean, just compare. This is a pretty big alone. And look at that thing. You got to, yeah, probably get a couple of stools and get up there. The AMG. Very nice. Another one there. Ooh, actually, guys, yeah, there's starting to be a lot of cars out here. At the Orange Huracan, um, Evo, yeah. And, uh, nice R8. We got the Marcia Lago. It's a another Marcia Lago inside. And then look at this all carbon fire. This thing is wild. Never seen one like this before. 992 all carbon fiber this is savage edition wow dude this thing is crazy yeah. look at that pretty much the entire body is carbon fiber look at that we got a couple of kona segs and also either a gunther's work or singer i'm thinking gunther's work and we got a street plug. Oh, what's up, man? How's it going? How you doing today? Good. 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 How's it going? Oh, man, it's good. It's oh yeah, good. it's a good day, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. Ooh, another one coming in. Centenario. Now that I know how to say it, because I was saying <laughs> Centenario. Because uh, you know me, I'm like the human encyclopedia of cars. And then, yeah, I'm almost certain that's a Gunter's work. 911. And then we got two Kona segs coming in. And of course, in front of that, we got the Apollo. Oh my God, just rolling in. This is crazy. Got the Centenario giving the Apollo the okay to come in ahead of him. That is a real gentleman right there and a scholar. Yeah. A lot of people now over here taking photos and videos. Ah, meanwhile, we, we got the Jeep Sahara coming out with the footage. From the top, okay, that's what that's what this is a setup I need. Okay. Yeah, we'll go past the Apollo. I know it's kind of oh my god, there's a Pagani. And you guys know this guy, you've seen him on DDE. He's going, uh, wow, insane. And then GT3 RS. And don't forget that. Amongst all these hypercars, the GT3 RS is probably the best driving one. Another McLaren coming in, 765 LT, beautiful green. Once that's the sunlight hits that pearl, man. Right across from there, we got another Kona Seg. I wonder if this is the same guy, not the guy driving the car, but the same guy, maybe having his buddies drive in all these Kona Segs. And then behind that, we have a VF Engineering STO Huracan. There you are, the sun. Huge difference from between yesterday and today. Man, I should have washed my car in the morning. Oh, well, that's fine. Got the Porsche Cayenne STO. Again, I said, let's give love to the BMW 5 Series because it's looking clean. Go. Got the all carbon fiber. Kona Seg. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. If you look at that, the way the door just kind of swings out that way. I'm gonna have my my friend here move my car for me. I'm kidding. I'm not sure, but I'm almost certain this is. Oh yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gunter's work. So yeah, that's right. If you look at the interior. Oh, so much like Singer, uh, Gunter's work is pretty much the, the same idea. Okay, look at the front. Very nice. The Centenario, all carbon fiber. Look at the wheels. How insane that is. Wow. Here we are, much like Rick's color. That's a beautiful orange C8. 
Oh, thank you. Very nice. All right, that was a wild entrance for all these to come in at once. We'll go look at this Ferrari that came in around the same time as those and this other Cincinnati. Man, I swear I'm saying that name a lot now that I know how to pronounce it. Very nice. Coming in, we have another GT3 RS, a GTR. Behind the GTR, a beautiful McLaren with the hood scoop, or I should always say hood, with the roof scoop. Looking very nice, loving that spec. And then we got a nice blue one behind it, a 570S, and a SVJ. Man, I've lost count how many SVJs we have here today. But I am not complaining, and then we have a beautiful spec R8 V10. We got this Mercedes rolling in. I'm not sure if that's a resto mod. Oh, look how the the wheels, they got the floating caps. So the Mercedes Benz sign is always upright. I'm not sure why. Uh, I think the Rolls Royce is probably making the wrong turn. I think they're all supposed to go this way. Or, oh yeah, okay. They, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're turning around to the right way, so. Look at that. Everyone's all scattered all over the place. We got the Rolls Royce. We got what looks like a 458 Spider and F40. You get to see these in the Bay Area a lot. The F40 and right behind that there's a Ford GT. Cool representation of for was it Ford versus Ferrari? <laughs> uh, yeah, F40. And we got the Chevy Traverse and the Ford GT. I know, that I said it too. I was like, Chevy Traverse. <laughs> and the Ford GT. Look at that, the lights. And nope, no Montana plate on this one. And then the Ferrari F40. Gotta look at that as well. Again, we're fortunate enough to see the F40s pretty commonly in the Bay Area. So, uh, not to say you don't appreciate them when you see them. Uh, you really do. Fortunate enough to see a lot of these vehicles out in the street. Very nice. AMG. Uh, I don't know these enough to know exactly which one it is, but very nice indeed. Uh, loving the color of the spec on that one. Wow. And then I got the wrap on the 458. Looking really cool. Love the accents on there. You know, GTR. Ooh, beautiful NSX. There you go. Very nice. Ooh, very nice. Dude, that Mustang looks different, or as the youth would say, it hits different. No, that's probably, I'm probably using that all wrong. A Sierra carbon fiber on there. And this one is from our brothers and sisters from the north. Look at that. This is interesting. I've never seen one with a scoop like that on the side. Oh, actually, I actually didn't realize the whole thing is carbon fiber. Very nice indeed. With the Ferrari. Nice wrap on that. Giddy up. From Texas. Very nice. Got the McLaren with the Golf livery. The camera up front. There is a lot of noise coming over here. It's got a... We got a Ducati Panigale V4. Okay. BMW making popcorn in the morning. Got a 992 GT3. It looks like another GT RS. And oh, look at the wrap on this. What is this 991 GT3? And got Aston Martin. Usually Aston Martins don't have wild colors. That, that's probably as wild as I've seen it. Followed by a McLaren and a Ventador. Six wheels, oh my God. Yeah, McLaren, followed by a McLaren. Uh, and if you guys, I don't know if you see on Netflix, there's like a, it's like a supercar versus like sleeper car show. Um, I think they only had like two seasons, but uh, I believe Batman or Bat Aventador right here. I believe she was one of the racers in the show, Ferrari. And Audi, another McLaren. Very nice wrap on the McLaren. It's kind of like a like a satin C8. A lot of noises coming out of here. A better look at the cars rolling in. The Ferrari, and McLaren trying to squeeze in there as well. 
They got the BMW, very nice wrap on the BMW. And we got the, the Batman event store that we were talking about. We've seen her in the show. And then McLaren, Audi, got the six wheel over there. We got, yeah, six wheel. Uh, playing the music that the kids like. It's Mercedes as well. Oh yeah, lost her N. We got a Porsche with the whale tail. At the Panigale. Beautiful wrap on the 765 long tail. What's that sun hits on that? Woo, very nice. This guy, man, he's got the right idea. He's got the gimbal. He's got the skateboard. Uh, and he probably has two ACLs. I only have one. Got the monster truck for some reason or another moving out. Uh, really cool. Unleash the beast. Ooh, speaking of beast, check out this BMW. My man has the right camera set. He's got the camera up there. He got the camera down there. Ooh, here we go. Oh, uh, shoot. I know this is a very popular car as well. A nice AMG. Oh my God, you guys don't know, but I almost <laughs> stepped in some water. Uh, yeah, AMG. Uh, nice accents on there as well. The split wing on the McLaren, uh, GG's McLaren. Yeah. C8. Trailer pulling a beautiful Huracan. Ooh, Mustang is gonna be a Mustang. C8 headed out. Or GT headed in. Yeah, man looks familiar. Oh, we got Manny over here signing autographs for the kids. Really nice. Oh, that's nice. He signed a Hot Wheel for them. Very cool. Or GT. It's really cool. Last year when we saw him here, he had uh, the Speed Tail with him, and I think that was the first time I saw the Speed Tail. So we got an Alfa Romeo. There you go. Nice to see another Alfa Romeo here. There you go, Victor. Alfa Romeo 1600 in front of Manny. <laughs> or behind Manny, I should say. That's a C8. C8 R edition. I think we saw that at Car Week as well, but I think it was in the auction area. So I'm wondering if this guy bought it or what. Uh, meanwhile, SVJ coming in. And very nice Rolls Royce. The Yukon Honda Civic. These are rare. The Honda Civics are hard to get. And the GT3 with the nice gold wheels, the HER wheels on there looking really good. 991 coming in hot. And there's a green event or a Huracan, I should say, coming in. Speaking of Huracan, there's also one being unloaded here. Uh, you can see. Uh, actually, she looks very familiar. I'm wondering if I've seen her Instagram or something, but we'll get a look at it being unloaded. The wheels on this are wild. It almost looks like they have like hollow looks in it. Oh, wow. Okay, these are, these are, I didn't even realize these are race slicks. Yeah, very nice. And, oh, our third Montana play. All oh, the best businesses are in Montana. Uh, well, oh, I should say four, or fourth. So yeah, all the best businesses are in Montana. Another Huracan coming in, followed by a Huracan. And a very nice McLaren, a blacked out, murdered out. As the youth used to say, I don't think they say that anymore. Eh, maybe they do. But, and then Supra, very nice Supra. And a couple American Ferrari SF90. A nice wrap. We got a 458 and a BMW with a very nice BMW colors on there. Man, it's actually kind of hard to walk on these. Uh, but then again, this lane is close, so maybe I could just stand here. Anime stickers there. Yeah, ooh, beautiful specs Ferrari. Over here. Yeah, very nice. All the carbon fiber on there. We got the van suburban piss. Yeah, over here. We got the van. <laughs> we got the scent of the McLaren. This thing, man. Very wild. Very nice. Definitely one of my favorites for sure. Oh, and we have, I think, our fifth Montana plate. Yes, all the best businesses 
are in Montana, this Ferrari, the taillights are very different on it. You can see on there. Wow. I think it's nice. You got the nice Camaro. Look at that. Looking good. There you go. Wow. Some of the nicest spec Ferraris I've seen. Beautiful. A Porsche 356 behind the McLaren Center. And also an Impala, I think. Could be wrong. Yes, there's an Impala back there as well. Uh, 356 Porsche. Looking okay, good. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to get off the street. There's also that McLaren that we saw earlier. Woo! Oh, man, those Impalas are no joke. Okay. Being a Camaro, C7. Look how wild that is. Actually, well, breakfast can weigh a little bit. And we'll... oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I guess reverse is not easy in these. which I got some more cars very nice GTR R34 chameleon color look at the front wow beautiful spec Manny over here top of the GTRs we have another Kona Civic coming in holy crap R33, so for me, this is my favorite GTR. Uh, of course, I would get it white, but you know, R33. Yeah, that's right. Right hand drive, JDM, never made it to the States. Oh, look at that, yeah. Beautiful R33. Okay, this is the beauty of having the hotel just right here and the show right back here is that the car is parked, the show is technically beginning right now. But I don't need to be there the whole time. Car's locked, it's all safe. I mean, it's among Conus eggs. So I'm going to eat some breakfast and then head back to the show later on. All right, here at the bar and look at this. It's called a Cadillac Margarita. Don't ask me what's in it. It's just some citrusy stuff. And yeah, I figure I have time, so why not? All right, got my breakfast burrito in, egg white, no cheese, tortilla chips. Still got some drink. Whoop. Got out of the hotel and ooh, there's actually a few cars out here at the hotel as a mclaren 720s there's also this uh, straight up driver has a bunch of autographs on it doesn't have my autograph on it these are probably all hip-hop artists and i got the red bull mini cooper it looks like we have a huracan and a gt4 over there and here's an audi r8 i think this is no, might not be the same one we saw earlier. Then again, I just woke up from a nap, so a little bit of -hoo in the head. But this one has the exhaust coming out the back. Uh, center top, sheepy, sleepy sheepy. That's what I am right now. And then we have a uh, Performante. Got the Morris Gar Carbon Fiber. Wow, I can't, I can't word right now. Uh, and then we have oh, our probably six Montana plate. I can't remember. Yeah, all the best businesses are in Montana. This one's got uh, the wide body on it. Uh, Gabe GT's vlogs. Yeah, very cool. This is the Pirelli edition. If you guys follow Stradman, he has a Pirelli edition as well that he, he dedicated to his dad and now it's pink yeah this one looks really nice we'll take a photo of this one all right so yeah I was across the street taking a nap and yeah now we are back and look at all the people coming in because now technically it started so <laughs> i'll go enjoying his 911. <laughs> I don't know. 
if you guys got that bit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was loud, but look, I was showing Andrew, this is the bike I was considering until I saw the price tag, and then I was like, yeah, maybe not. Here, bam, I think it's our seventh Montana plate. So yeah, all the best businesses are in Montana. This is a Skyline. I thought it was, well, I was, I was right then, it is a Nissan. Uh, doggy in the Porsche. It's a little jelly over here. <laughs> so we got the helicopter over here matching with the Lamborghini Huracan. I didn't notice that earlier. Or maybe the Lamborghini wasn't parked here yet. All right, haven't seen the Apollo since I first saw it roll in. But here it is. I was wondering where it went. You look at the front, at the back. Look at that. Crazy. Yep, same looking. Oh, we got the Ghost Squadron. Oh, we got the DDE. The Tani. Got the pipes. If you guys have seen their latest video, this thing sounds crazy. Yep. Very nice. There goes Damon right there. Let me check out the DDE McLaren. And then we got their Aventador right there. Check that out. There you go, the front of the Aventador. Again, there goes Damon. Here is uh, a Vora GT that we saw last year. Ooh, look at that. Super nice. Oh, look at these wheels. Carbon fiber. Oh, even this one down there. Oh, look at that. Nice little ball python. Reminds me of caramel. So nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> look at this, a Bart. Love the wrap on this. The satin on it is very satiny. <laughs> is that even a word? What? I love that. Ooh, look at this. Mercedes is out here. Crazy. Look at this thing. It's insane. Look at that dual turbo. Wow. All right, this thing is wild. Huskies? Yeah, dude. Okay, here's a rare one. Uh, okay, very nice. AMG with the engine. Very cool, very, very cool. Cars that we saw coming in, well, <laughs> they're tiny. Look at this, it's called the Solo. Single-seated electric muter. That's, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's insane. Look at this. Oh wow, so it's funny, there's a door on each side, but there's only one seat. So you gotta choose what, <laughs> what side you wanna sit on. So is it a right-hand drive? It's a left-hand drive? It's a, just a drive? Oh, yeah, look. Key inside, go for a drive. It's got a digital screen. Got a JVC stereo in there. Uh, it has some uh, climate control on the other side. You got storage for a bag. I don't know if the back opens up or not. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. Okay, so you get to choose what side you want to go in. Look, it's two doors. With some... right. Yeah, you get to choose. Yeah. <laughs> right. Look at that. Oh my God. This is actually kind of roomy. It's got a nice plug right behind you. Yeah. Look at that. All right. How fast do we go? <laughs> Look at that. Single sun visor. Has two doors, but only one sun visor. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, this is cool. You can, like just take off in it. Yeah, really cool. Okay, so I came in from the traditional passenger side. I don't know. Oh, there's a cup holder. So you pop out a cup holder on the the passenger side. Look, I came in from that side. I can leave from this side. So we'll just get out. See, see what it's like. Oh, all right, cool. All right, so I came in on that way and I left this way. So. <laughs> and yeah, there's one cup holder. We need to get more information on this. We'll check it out. The Electro Mechanica. Hey. Hi, how are you? Oh, so cute. <laughs>